Now, according to the Steam hardware survey, the GTX 1060 is the most popular graphics card by quite a margin. And with it being almost three years old at this point, I decided to test it against the five most played games on Steam just to see if there's any reason for you to upgrade to the new generation of graphics cards if you're one of the many people that owns this graphics card. Now, as somebody who makes videos about PC hardware, you always have this strong urge to make videos about the most powerful graphics cards running the most demanding games at the highest resolutions. But honestly, who has an RTX 2080 Ti and is playing a game like Metro Exodus while ray traced on a 4K monitor? That's a very small percentage of you. But this video is about the every gamer, about the graphics card that they most likely have in their PC at the moment, and whether or not they should upgrade to the latest generation of graphics graphics cards. Now today I'll be testing the 6 gig version of the GTX 1060. The version that I have today is a Pallet Super Jetstream card which has a massive cooler on it and it's actually so big that it takes up more than two PCI Express slots. And then in regards to the rest of the system that I use to test this PC, it's actually fairly similar to the most popular setup seen on Steam. I've got an Intel i5-7600K in the system which has been overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. That's not a massive overclock and you should be able to get that on your own version of that CPU because I don't even have particularly exotic cooling on it. I've got a CryoRig H7, which is a fairly entry-level aftermarket CPU cooler. Then I've got 16 gigs of DDR4, 2666 megahertz, and then I loaded all of the games off of an SSD and I've got a Gigabyte Z270 Gaming 5 motherboard in there. Honestly, these specs don't directly relate to gaming performance. The most important components for gaming performance is the CPU, RAM, and the graphics card. However, an SSD will make the games load faster. And then when testing all of these games, I tested them at the highest available preset for that specific game, which was usually ultra. I think that was the case for all of them. And then I tested them at three resolutions, which was 1080p, 1440p, and 4K, so that you could get a good indication of how the graphics card would perform on your specific system. Although most of you would probably be using 1080p panels because, well, that's the most popular resolution on Steam as well. Now, before we get into the benchmarks, I just want to quickly point out that I didn't run any of these tests with the GTX 1060 actually overclocked because, well, a lot of people don't seem very comfortable overclocking their hardware. And this is a result very representative of what anyone with a GTX 1060 in a comparable system could get on their own. And now with all of the technical stuff out of the way, what are the five most popular games on Steam? Now the most popular game I was A, quite surprised of, and B, really proud because I play it all the time, it's Dota 2. I didn't realize that it wasn't going to be PUBG, which brings me to the second most popular game, which is PUBG. Number three is CSGO or Counter-Strike GO, which again is fairly predictable. A lot of people love that game, including myself, even though I'm not the best CSGO player. Number four is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, which I was quite surprised. I've never actually played this game and I had to buy it to test it. Um, so I didn't, didn't realize that that was a game a lot of you liked. And then number five on the list, which has been around for a long time, is GTA V. And now, with all of that out the way, we can finally get into the benchmarks. Let's see how the GTX 1060 holds up in 2019. Now honestly, I find these results really exciting because if you game at full HD or 1080p, which if you own a GTX 1060, you most likely are, you're well suited even with the most demanding of these games, which is PUBG. I mean, PUBG is famous for bending PCs over tables and having at them because of how badly optimized it is. But at 1080p, it averages around 75 frames per second, which is really cool because if you buy a 1080p 75 hertz gaming monitor, which is a really good bang for buck buy at the moment, you're gonna be gaming all day long with a massive smile on your face at slightly higher than 60 frames per second refresh rate. 
And then another thing about these results that I find really cool is that two of the top three games you can actually play at above 60 frames per second at 4K, which is amazing. You probably shouldn't do that unless you're like a content creator on a budget, but that's still a really great result. Just on a quick side note with the GTA 5 results, the game was performing really weirdly at 1080p and 1440p. It had really hectic stutters which basically made the game unplayable. I don't really know why it was doing that because the average frame rate was still very high and it didn't do it at 4K which had a lower average frame rate. So just beware of that but I haven't heard of any issues of other people having this kind of problem with a GTX 1060 playing GTA 5. In conclusion, should you in 2009 19 buy a GTX 1060? No, you get a lot of better value graphics cards unless you get a really good deal on the secondhand market. But what these tests show is that if you're one of the many people that owns a GTX 1060 and games at 1080p, you don't need to worry about upgrading your graphics card because you're sorted. Honestly, if this GTX 1060 can play PUBG at 1080p, 75 frames per second average, you're going to be able to play all of the other popular games like Fortnite, Apex, Legends and the other things that the kids play today that I don't know what they are. Anyway, with that, thank you very much for watching the video. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I do have an Instagram and a Twitter account as well, so check those out if you want to. And yeah, until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye bye.